Hello, this is Magnus Forty Fourteen here, and um, today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can um, make the Mac OS X line installation uh, into a very small file size. Um, so um, basically, you can take it down to about three gigabytes using this tutorial. Uh, so this is quite useful. For example, if you know, you're going to install um, line on a USB stick and it's only something like three gigabytes, or you want to be able to um, put some other files onto it, or something like that. Uh, so anyway, this is uh, fairly simple. Um, you don't really need any um, programs to do this. Um, you just need um, to have a Mac access to a Mac um, that has um, something like Tiger or Later installed in it. Uh, so uh, first of all, what you need to do is um, go to the App Store and download install Mac OS X Lion. So for that bit, you'll require uh, you'll need um, Snow Leopard, um, but um, you can just put it onto a USB stick and put it onto Mac. With Tiger, if for um, some weird reason you don't you don't have proper access to Snow Leopard, but anyway, what you need to do is right-click on the installation, uh, to click Show Package Contents, uh, go to Contents and Shared Support. In here, you will see Install ESD. You need to double-click on this to mount it. Uh, you will need to um, go to um, an application called Disk Utility, which is in Applications over here and Utilities. Um, and you'll be able to find this utility there. Uh, you need to um, click this to make sure nothing's selected. Uh, go to new image, um, go to par uh, partitions, actually leave that, um, but an image form, click sparse disk image, and change the size of this to um, 4.6 gigabytes DVD, um, and um, I'll just um, put some names here, um, and click create, it should take about a minute to create. Um, so once it's created, uh, it'll automatically mount. Uh, so you need to click on um, the mounted install ESD partition here, or disk image. Drag and drop the source to restore. Actually, first select restore here and drag and drop the source to here. And drag and drop the destination of the disk image that you just created that's mounted over here. Uh, so once you've done this, um, you just need to click on restore. And it's all erase everything in the sparse image. Okay, um, so when you've done that, um, to be able to, um, it will automatically mount, but to be able to go to it to make sure that you're in the right partition, just try dragging the file um, tiny bits like install. Just try dragging it. If you can drag it, okay, then that means that um, you um, have the right um, d disk image um, selected. Uh, so, um, what you need to do now to make it smaller is open up packages. Uh, once you're in packages you need to um, basically select all of the languages um, but to not select to not um, select Asian language support or traditional Chinese because deleting them will corrupt the installation. Uh, so now what you need to do is um, basically just delete all of these. Um, um, it's probably best not to delete um, any extra things but if you're sure that um, you won't, that you're not going to need it, um, then it's probably safe to delete it. Like for example, the dictionaries, but that might be useful later on. Though. Uh, so, uh, uh, what you need to do um, is um, empty the trash by right-clicking trash, click empty trash. Um, then the um, size of the image will now be, uh, I can see, 3.45 gigabytes, I think. Um, and if you compare it to the normal one, it's 3.8 gigabytes, so it's about 500 megabytes um, taken away by doing this. Uh, now what you need to do um, is uh, try looking for an online tutorial to see um, if you can delete any other um, things, um, but experimenting might not be a good idea because it could corrupt installation. Uh, but it could be possible to take it down to about 3 gigabytes, I think. Uh, so. Um, what you need to do now is um, unmount uh, this and um, install the SD. Uh, you can unmount both of them actually. Uh, you don't need to keep any of them mounted. Uh, and it might take a while to unmount them all. Okay, so uh, what you need to do now is um, uh, the um, Lion sparse image uh, should be um, okay, I think, um, to um, 
I put onto a USB stick, um, and so I'll just pause this for a second. Okay, so um, uh, what you need to do now is um, uh, go to Spec, so Disk Utility, um, and click on New Image. Uh, select the size. Um, actually, the, the sparse image will need to be mounted. Uh, so you can click Skip. Um, if it asks um, to skip it or not. Uh, and I'll just check the size of this. Uh, so just right click and get good skit info. Uh, so it is 3.45, so just put in what you need to do is uh, select the image format sparse disk image, uh, go to the size and click on custom, uh, and just to double check and um, put this gigabytes over here and put 3.46 just in case. Uh, click OK. Um, just put, uh, type in the name here, lines relation. Uh, click and save as. Um, just call this something like um, boot or lion. Doesn't really matter what name you use. Uh, so just click and create now. Um, and uh, this will format and everything. Uh, so I'll just close this. Uh, so um, you need to restore this again. So select um, click here. Um, drag and drop the small line sparse image mounted one to the source. It will automatically get named to Mac OS X install EST. And then drag and drop the line installation to the destination. And you need to click on restore. Uh, this will take um, a while, so um, uh, basically that's all you need to do. Um, it will be the original file size, or it will be the file size that you managed to save, so 3.45 gigabytes. Um, or whatever it is. Um, and um, anyway, thanks for watching this um, tutorial. Um, please rinse comments this video, please subscribe, and please check out my different videos and tutorials um, at my channel, which is um, MacMaster4848. So. Oh, and by the way, um, when you install, um, the, um, when basically when you install it onto a computer, Lion, um, then you need to make sure you deselect all of the languages and everything that you have removed. Uh, thanks for watching.